Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Izzy, near zero. Uh, quick little thing. Um, I'm going to, uh, from now on, going to refer myself and my YouTube channel as Rokan, um, mainly because I wanted to, to be in line uh, with my Twitch channel, which is also Rokan, and I think it's a little bit easier um, to have just one kind of username instead of just two different entirely you know, usernames. And uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't confuse anybody else, but uh, from now on, I will be referring to myself as Rokan, the same as my Twitch channel, and uh, I'll be changing my YouTube uh, my YouTube name as Rokan as well. So, yeah. Uh, back to the game. Um, haven't played this in a while. I don't know where I last left off, but I believe we were trying to get the sheet music for uh, some ghosty goo that was just kind of relaxing in front of the piano, so we're going to do that. So, By the way, Lots of clicking on my keyboard. I can't control it yet. I don't have another keyboard to use, so I'm sorry. But more abuse. So, sorry about that. Um, so where is the? Oh, here it is. Bathroom. Uh, okay. A bathroom stall. Uh, oh crap! I forgot. Um, what was it? It was um. Knock the chimes. Oh, I got it. All right, sweet. I don't gotta remember anything. Sweet. Mashiro opened the door, but no one was inside. Yeah, let's keep it that way, shall we? Oh. Hey. You are amazingly, amazingly pretty. You have the eyes not even a mother would love. Oh, I saw that hand. What? What? Hello? A scattered stack of papers with music notes on them. Mishiro picked up the sheets and inserted them by page. Oh, sheet music, nice. All right. Well, there goes that mystery solved. Experience the sixth mystery. Oh, I didn't even know this was a mystery. All right. Uh, oh. Colonel, this is a snake. I'm in. Where? Okay. Oh crap! I forgot. I forgot to sprint. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, the piano was supposed to be around here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be over here. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice. My brain isn't that bad. In contrast to the dusty room, there's not a stain on it, and we put that there. Mishiro put the sheet music on the stand. The piano began to play by itself. Experience the third mystery. They seem focused on the sound of the piano. Let's, let's not disturb him, or her. Um, let's see here. Um, I want to make sure that the, the shoe locker uh, mystery that I solved uh, was recorded. So I don't. So let's double check that really quick. Um, I figured as much. Uh, look closely. That is very loud. I forgot how bad my uh, I had this volume. Alright, sweet. I did all the mysteries. Good, good. Let us save here. The mirror shows Mishiro's reflection. Look in. Damn, I haven't done this in a while. I, uh, six years ago in elementary school. Oh, I forgot. Sorry about the mouse. Uh, Usui, aren't you coming too? We're gonna explore the ghost lake. You're such a fad follower, Kachan. It's just a rumor, okay? Same with the school's seven mysteries. That's not true. They found a body that asked there, didn't remember? And last week they found another. Which means the demon of the ghost lake is making people throw themselves in. That's just coincidence. It's a pretty deep lake, so everybody just picks it to off themselves. No, that's not it. They say the body they found last week died exactly one year after the last after the one from last year. Which means one year later, at the same time, the same place, somebody's gonna die again. And both victims were students from the same middle school. For real? 
It was on the news. You can't call that a coincidence. Yeah, it is a little strange that someone from the same school would die exactly one year later. The ghost lake wants sacrifices. There's gotta be an evil ghost using black magic. We should exterminate it. <laughs> what are you, Ghostbusters? Alright, I guess it's worth checking out. It feels more like a plot than a ghost, but I'll go. Alright, Teruhiko? Question mark? Then let's get going. That's a hell of a name, bro. Usui, come to the station later. You seem like you'd like this stuff. Okay. Oh, I can control myself. Okay. What do you have to say? Boys are into that kind of thing, huh? It's kind of scary to think people are dying on the same day each year. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get into anything weird. And if it's just kids going, our parents will get mad. See you, Mishiro. You should go home quick, and not get involved with that stuff. All right. I guess that's the thing. Oh, who are you? What are you doing over there? Hey, kid. Huh? Where did my pen get to? Maybe I lost it when we played hide and seek. The shelves contain books for the class. Search. Looking closely, there are some library books mixed in, but nothing else out of the ordinary. My throat is killing me. I will be right back. I'm gonna get some water. All right, back. Sorry, water. Anyway, uh, looking closely, there are some library books mixed in, but nothing else out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, are you all gonna sing the same thing? All right, sweet. Oh, hello. A locker full of cleaning tools. Search. There are lots of rooms. Not much else of note. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's not important. The classroom seems so large from the teacher's desk. Look by your feet. There's a ballpoint pen in a gap under the podium. Okay, let's give this back to the child over here. Hey, man, I found your pen. Oh, my pen. Where'd you find it, Mishiro? On the teacher's desk. Oh, okay. I hear they're for hide and seek, so. Anyway, thanks for finding it. I'm gonna go home now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> really? Alright, let's get out of here. It won't open. Oh boy. We are boned. Can we, uh. The window gives a good view of a familiar town. Jump out? If you jump out. It'll mean seconds of terror followed by the instantaneous pain. I'm pretty sure I want to jump out. <laughs> Did I fling a baseball? Like a nerf ball? Great. Cool, man. Cool, cool. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Mishira came to again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a strong pain and her vision blurring, there wasn't even a bruise on her. Yes, there were rumors about the ghost lake back then. <clears throat> that was probably where the Mirror Lake rumors started. But ultimately, after the second death, there were no more incidents involving Mirror Lake. Elementary school. I seem to recall that was a pretty fun time. Not bad. <laughs> Just as Mishira regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she lost something important. Yeah, her, her ankles. <laughs> Oh, I see a shiny thing. Mishira got a gold key. Alright. No, 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 I'm sorry! Hey. Uh, so where do we go now? Wait, do we? Oh, we, yeah, we got a gold key. Alright, let's get out of here. I think I can think of I can think of two places that we can go now, but before that, let's go save. Deep in the realms, huh? I always stayed away because of all the evil spirits. Does that stuff not bother you, Mishiro? Hell no. So young lady, you're remembering who you are bit by bit. Get back our memories, grant our wish. What'll happen to us to see us after that? Surely we'll be at peace and go to heaven, eh? Yeah, sure why not. Let's go with that. Unlock the door with the gold key. Okay. This looks pretty. We shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. Welcome, Master, to the realm of blood. This is gonna shatter on me. 
No, it's not. Okay. An angel-like statue polished to a shine. For now, give no thought to the return trip. I did not plan on it. If you are tired, enjoy a smoothing meal. Smoothing meal. Alright, let's do it. A great pile of fresh fruit. Getting weird witch's house vibe here. Not an alcoholic vibe. That's adorable. I can't. I can't eat anything. You're lying to me. Uh, okay. Hello. Man, outside is very loud. Okay, I guess I can't go up. Uh, okay. Was well, there another way around? Star down. Uh, it's a grandfather clock. If you see anything you like, relax at your leisure. Well, I definitely will. A pretty white dress. A piano Mishiro can't play. A large standing clock. Its age is evident. Don't do that. A pile of present boxes, exciting just to look at. Oh, we're stuck here again. Oh, good. Good for you. <laughs> Take three. Okay. Uh, oh, nice bed. A large bed with a canopy, soft enough for your body to sink into, which I could use right about now. I never trust these bears, man. Not after the witch's house. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. If you wish, you may take a comforting rest. Okay. The mirror is to your left. Okay. Oh, it is. Okay, sweet. The mirror shows Mishiro's reflection, but look in. She has a bad feeling unlike any before. Look in anyway! I don't care. I'm making her look in. Two years ago, a middle school. Hey, Usui, you're late. Because I had gym. I don't care. Just give us your homework. Our homework. You did do it, didn't you? Can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Thanks, little Usui. 1,000 yen fee for every wrong answer. You're rich, so that's enough responsibility, eh? What am I doing? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. You, you listening, Usui? Oh, I skipped it. Does the class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, no one's gonna notice you. Not even senpai. I've been dealing with them for about three months. They're just out. They're just letting us stress for the um, coming exams. They're not going to a decent high school anyway. Ooh, burn! That's the sort of school that I think about. That's the sort of thing I think about as I let it wash over me and endure. With the recent death of my grandpa, a famous artist, the Usui family has been in turmoil over his ex inheritance. So I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school. At home, I care for my family. At school, for these losers. I feel myself withering, lonely and doubting. What am I living for? I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not you jerks. Say, did you know? I do. Contrary to appearances, she really likes frilly outfits. F for real? Totally, like gothic Lolita and stuff. She's gone out like that on days off. Now that's something. So cute, Usui. You want to be a princess? Don't talk about people that taste like that, you something or other. Well, it's about time, Usui. Show us your cute little clothes, Usui. Let us snap pics. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Don't rob me of the one thing free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favorite clothes Sunday or something. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know, Usui? Always such a dim, awkward girl, but today you will get to be a pretty frilly princess. Ooh, so adorable for her age. <laughs> so 
so many things I can say right there. Don't make me any more angry. Hmm? You say something? What, Usui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your traps, guys. Usui wants to say something. Hmm? It off. Not good. I can tell my emotions are getting uncontrollable. If I stay silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please, don't reach for my pocket. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, it'll turn the world upside down. Is it a dick pic? What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie Usui. Knock it off, you something or other. What? Did she just stab the guy? Yes, in that moment. Mishiro Usui took out a small hidden knife and swung it at the delinquent. Good shit, man! I left the trail of red on the girl's hand, six centimeters long. Immediately after this incident, a teacher heard a scream and came running. It wasn't a severe wound, so it didn't affect my school record such that I couldn't graduate. And the delinquent no longer approached me. In fact, no one in my class did. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in the name of correction. That was his, this memory. Now to just break the mirror. Oh, I have a choice this time. Stab the knife into your throat. No, not yet. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'll probably end. I'll I'll pick a choice, and then end the video. And then I'll load it up again, and then choose the other option, and then see what happens. Uh, but I, uh, you know what? That's cool. No, not yet. Not yet. I want to see more of this. Uh, not yet. There's more to do here still. This may just be a vision of the past, but this is a reenactment, an illusion the mirror is creating. It's merely based on my memory. So what reason is there to hold back? Before the blood and the screaming brought me back to my senses, but now it's different. Now, now that my spirit has grown stronger from growing around this world, I can kill them. Leave no survivors. Okay, let us do this. I'm convinced I can do it. I'll let my urges and hatred find an outlet. If only here in the mirror, I'll get retribution. If only here, I'll make these hordes something or other suffer. Oh, yes. N no. Come here, you little punk. No, this is perfectly funny. I'm enjoying this very much. Hey, one down. Tango down. Man, she kind of deserved it. Come here, you freaking. This chick has agility. Come here, there you go. Come here, you. I am just destroying this one girl. Oh, you look amazing in red. Hehe. <laughs> okay, and we've lost her, boys. We've lost her. Was it short short lived? It feels like nothing matters anymore. Yeah, you just stabbed everyone. I'm enjoying this. I am you, and you are me. Oh, poor me. You two looked into the mirror and lost it. Looking into your memories can mean prying open the lid on past trauma. To think, a new ruler arrived, and yet it just came to this. So long, I can't hope for anything good to follow. Ending 5. Mistakes repeated. She too was lost in madness. Well, I think we chose the wrong one. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna end it here, and then I uh, I'll load up the the save file again, and I'll do the other option and see how that goes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.